So should we uh, pick up uh, minutes and get those uh, get those out of the way? Julie was able to. Julie sent out uh, four weeks worth today this morning. Did folks get those? I got them, but I was reviewing your uh, summary from yesterday, not uh, the minutes. So much more riveting, I'm sure. Well, we can do the sum. We can do the letter first if you want to do minutes at the end. I I read them and I didn't um, I didn't see anything that was like earth shattering. Like I didn't see anything that jumped out at me. So I thought they were fine. Yeah, I didn't either, Tim. We just make a blanket motion then. Well, I was going to, but I didn't know if Scott wanted to look at them, so I was trying to be. Respect. Yeah. Do I have any quotes in there? If not, then I don't explain. <laughs> and I make a motion that we accept Julie's minutes for. Uh, I mean, I don't have them pulled up. So whatever they, the the ones, the first set, March. Well, Julie, the, will you give the yes, date? Yes, the tenth, the the tenth, the seventeenth, the twenty fourth, and the thirty first. Correct. I don't see any quotes by Scott. No, there were no quotes by Scott. I'll make sure to do that on the next set, Scott. Okay. <laughs> oh, please do. <laughs> so that we can have something to something to haggle. Did on. I really say that? Go back to the video. <laughs> uh, so, I'm sorry. So you so you did second then, I Scott? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, second. Yes. Okay. Uh, do we need any further discussion on these four weeks worth of minutes? I do not. Uh, hearing none, uh, roll call votes. Oh, Stan, I. Janet, I. Julie, I. Scott, I. Motion carries. Um, so, my uh, lengthy summary for the annual report. Um, first of all, I forgot to put in there that I wasn't uh, wasn't able to eliminate. All I could do is eliminate the data out of that that chart that Mary had that I mean that I had from last year. Um, I couldn't figure out how to actually get rid of the blank chart. Um, but um, so anyway, that's why that chart is in there blank. And it was all the it was all reserve fund transfers, which I don't think we actually have had any reserve fund transfers, have we? Not yet. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I didn't see any need to do anything with that. Um, Stan, I think those are the reserve. Then, uh, I think those were the transfers for last year, which is what you're reporting on. The, the, what I sent you? No, they were, Mary, yes. But I, okay. Yes. So we haven't had any for this year. So, I, and so there's probably no need for the I, table. Yeah, yeah, and, that table could have come out, but I couldn't figure out how to eliminate the table. So I also didn't spend a lot of time figuring it out. I was able to I was able to erase the cells, but I didn't. Uh, I wasn't able to actually remove the table itself. Oh, you want it out? I'll take it out and send it back to you. <laughs> that would be great if you could. Yeah. But we also um, will probably have some other revisions hmm. tonight. So. Um, Margaret has had forwarded me some um, her thoughts on reading through it. Um, and I think Margaret did that was that just to me or that wasn't to the, to the No, group? it was just to you. I just wanted to share a few thoughts, you know. Um, do you mind if I share that? No, I don't mind. Don't? You go right ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, so I mean, I could forward this to you guys too, but I could just say quickly it's um, Margaret is, is saying that the, it's not a hard spending freeze. There is still some discretion by the departments and, and that's um, that's fine. I mean, that's really more of a semantics and language. I, I think yeah. I pretty much uh, meant that to be the case, but um, so we can certainly uh, make that change. Um, also talking about concerns with steps and COLAs, uh, step increases are not automatic for most employees. 
Um, last year, non-union employees received no COLA and three contract salaries employees rejected theirs accordingly. Um, yep, I get that. Um, I, I really just wanted, I just kind of wanted that out there as, a, as just a, not a, I don't, I don't want to call it, it's, it's not a threat. It's, it's, a, it's just that I just wanted to be aware that people, that, that departments should, should not expect that to be the norm or that that's just going to be a given every year or, um, and, you know, maybe most of them don't, but I, I feel like there is a certain amount of expectation that there will just be annual increases. And, and I don't know that we should have that expectation. So that was why I, I put that in there. Um, and please also feel free others to, um, voice opinions on that as well. Um, and those were, that was the main thing. Oh, oh, you had, uh, so in the first paragraph, you mentioned meals, rooms, tax, offset receipts below historic levels. Um, yeah. So reserve receipts can be to, pretty volatile yeah. based on certain factors. So I just didn't know if you uh -huh. cared to include that. Okay. I'd almost rather say no, because it is volatile and that it's not, Okay. I mean, I think part of, I think part of my whole reasoning for this was, uh, was a not wanting to be a status quo, not wanting to be a, uh, just go along with it sort of thing. And, and that's probably an item that isn't because it's volatile. So I, that, I guess that's my thinking on that. It's, it's, it's something that would always be discussed and, and, you know, have to be, have to be examined. So I, I think that was probably, I don't know that there was a lot of thought put in not putting it in there, but it, having read your comments, that's, I guess that's what I thought I you did a nice job on the report. I was just <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Do we have, um, do we have other thoughts? From the committee and or Margaret, if you thought of anything else since then. Sorry, what, what was the, instead of spending freeze, what was the language you said, Margaret? We're, we're, um, we're exercising, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. I was going to say townwide cost containment being enforced mm -hmm. as opposed to saying hard spending freeze. More like cost containment, I think is probably a better way to put it, saying then rather than saying hard spending freeze. Yeah, yeah. Where last year we did temporarily have a hard spending freeze, except on non-discretionary items, because we had no idea what was happening. <laughs> um, this year we um, it's it's more townwide cost containment um, that June and I are both reviewing. June's reviewing all invoices. I'm reviewing the warrants and the invoices to make sure um, that expenditures are reasonable and necessary. So. Um, there is some ability to spend on discretionary items like office supplies and things like that. Um, but I think, you know, what I said to Stan in the email was, uh, I do feel that last year's spending freeze or was it, yes, last year's spending freeze really resonated with departments. They have been, um, they have been very compliant with cost containment. Yeah, I mean, my, my comments, I mean, things I had were, were similar into this and one of the categories was you now in the first paragraph, you know, you talk about just exact that the, um, you know, you're saying that the goal of maintain town spending level most areas at or below yeah. FY21, 2021 was, uh, you know, the, I think the acknowledgement of that there was a 2% COLA since it's, uh, you know, those obvious things were the uh, salaries, uh, um, went up in that area besides the uh, uh, the wage adjustments. Mm -hmm. I also think some of this might have been too is that I, I think I carried a lot of the language forward from the from the previous letter and I think the previous I think previous year's letter had some maybe a little bit stronger language on some of this stuff because it was the the kind of the new the new COVID environment and so it was a little bit more stringent maybe on some of the some of this stuff yeah one area i would suggest and have is in the first paragraph when uh, you indicate um the exit let's see under the budget to be well within the two and a half percent levy limit 
I would just remove the well because we okay. were within, but we weren't well within. Yeah. I mean, we slowly um, inched our way uh, away you know, from being right on the edge once we you know, got this, what the $3,000 um, reduced in the, um, the uh, Tahanto assessment. And now we'll get obviously a reduction because of the uh, lower amount for the bonding. Yeah. We, we squeaked in under that. Yeah. Yeah, one other area, uh, let's see, was um, under data systems. It was a, mm -hmm. just a basic, uh, where, was, where was the data systems comment here? Um, yeah, again, I think I just I adapted yeah, some of the phrasing from last year. Yeah, because you just had in there was, and this change has necessita necessitated an upgrade of town computers and switch to Windows 10 systems. Um, so I don't know if just say an upgrade to uh, computers and yeah. Windows, I just removed the switch. Okay. To... So is that coming this year that they're, we're still running Windows 7 and it's next this coming fiscal year, they'll go to Windows we're starting 10? Starting to, we're, we're probably getting closer to the end of uh, transitioning from Windows 7. Um, library, actually, library might still be in the process of getting their Windows 7 um, computers upgraded to Windows 10. Um, so, Maybe should computer. we just put completing the or, or work continues on the transition? Maybe should or do we should we even bother? Do we even need to bother? What do you think, Margaret? I think I think it's not completely finished yet. <laughs> so however yeah. you want to, however you want to. Phrase it. I mean, do you think that there's a, is there, I, don't, I don't know that there's any sort of clamoring for people to like be updated on where we're at with our data system. So maybe we just, we probably could just leave it out and not even have to include it. Yeah, in the second paragraph, there's um, this, they're in one, two, three, four, the fifth line where it says FY 2021, there's no break between the sentence there. Okay. Stan, I'm I'm giving you a copy. I took the table out, so I did a, I did that edit that Margaret just mentioned. Oh, thank you. I, okay. I was just looking through, so I'll send it. If you can look at what I'm sending over, and Stan, I had a I had a substantive question for you. That the next to last paragraph, one thing is clear: budgets and so on. I I like the I like the comment. I like the statement. The thing that's that's catching my eye that's causing me a little concern is in the second line, our heavy reliance on retail for this, not this, I think we're actually relying on mitigation funds under development agreements, but I, I don't know that that's, I don't know that retail is, is the right word to have in that particular part of the sentence. Well, yeah, I mean, I think I, I think what I'm stating by that is that the 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 the, the non-residential portion of tax income. So the tax rate is we have two different tax rates for business and for residential, and the vast majority of our business is retail. And so, I mean, we're heavily reliant on on retail for. I mean, we don't have a very diversified business base. So I, I think my comment, I, I agree. I, I think my comment has to do with the idea that that like the uh, the sales tax revenue kind of thing that that we were mm -hmm. like with the hotel is is minor compared to the mitigation funds themselves. And so I think our heavy reliance is on the mitigation funds, but retail is in serious jeopardy of declining. That's the piece around the sentence that I that I would, if I, if I had the editing pen, I would put uh, mitigation funds in the second line and retail, mm -hmm. you do, it, it's subtle. I, but I, I see what you're saying. And I, I guess the only other question I would ask her, I would say, is June on tonight? Well, yeah, I think June's part, here. Of the, part of, and I agree with you, Mary, and it was the thing I was going to bring up as well, and you beat me to it. Um, the, the retail, is 
kind of what drives our mitigation money because we're not getting the mitigation money because the retail's going down. So it's like, but but it's the mitigation money that we're relying on. But if we have no retail, so and that's how I was looking at it. But now the way Stan just explained it to me, it's like the piece is we're not relying necessarily on on um resident income but retail I, so it's I, well so right so that's i guess that's what i was uh, june did you have any insight as to how much of the collect it's probably more of a molly question but do you have any insight as to the, the percentage of it collected taxes property taxes would you know would be i, I don't that would that would be a dentist question right now or dentist. But, Okay. Um, I believe I, I have a bit of an update. I mean, one of the oh, commercial okay. establishments, yeah. the, the taxes due in the commercial establishments, we have a, a commercial, uh, yes, a commercial establishment who has overdue taxes of exceeding $115,000 taxes. Okay. So, yeah. That's I, just I guess one, what I'm wondering. It, right. We so have of the two big things is that we have the the tax base of retail or commercial, I don't want to call it retail, but the commercial base. Yeah. And yeah. then we have mitigation, which is totally separate under the Correct. Re mitigation agreements that we had. Right. Um, I know that we did um, just recently receive the, the money, the mitigation money from Highland Commons. Yeah. So um, it's there. It's just, again, I, I kind of want to, um, just say Martian. that, like, yeah, I just want you to be very careful as far as is, is referring to mitigation funds as being optional or that they don't have oh. to pay them just because it is part of the agreement. So I just, I just be careful because you're putting this in writing. That, that's my only. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, I think the main point I'm trying to say there is that we have, I want to use the word double, but we have twice the exposure because of uh, to retail, yeah. because it's just it's tax base add the um, mitigation. And that's why I want to use the words double or even twice, because that can imply that, well, one is, you know, that they're like 50 50 in terms of dollar amounts. I have well, no right. idea and what the ratio what is, but that's yeah, exactly right. what you're getting to. And, back to right. Yeah, and this so was that 12 million that we talk about being prop, you know, property tax revenue that's not all residential right i mean that prop that 12 million that we that the top line in our budget for revenue mm -hmm. is a portion of its commercial and a portion of it is, is residential mm -hmm. correct and what i don't know is what that ratio is and that's what, and what i was saying is that so even if we just assume that ratio is 70 30 residential the vast majority of that 30 is retail and that that's what actually that's what i was referring to I think if you just even took the also, you know, is it like our top five of uh, revenue just from the taxes? I remember in the old days, it was Simon, Sears. So I remember the others. I think I mean, even, I think Rose Construction actually top, was in the top five back then. I don't know if that's still, but um, it was so, you no, know, so clearly uh, weighted towards the retail. Right. And and again, I don't, I'm not sure people really realize that. I'm not sure that they understand that our tax base is, and, and I know everything, I, I agree with everything you're saying about reliance on mitigation funds, which is absolutely true. But I also, I also wanted to, I actually did purposely want to kind of put out the message that we have a very heavy reliance on retail in this, in this town. And um, brick and mortar is a is a scary thing right now, and so it's this is really just more of a not a wake up call, but a whatever. So we uh, we can. You know, Stan, I, I again, I hear you there, but I'm I'm concerned about what June said. I'm also concerned about about clarity around this message because I don't think. I don't think retail, like if you, if you look at the gas station at Riverbridge and, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a food outlet, it's lottery tickets, it's that kind of stuff that I, I don't know that the pandemic had a huge impact on that right. particular kind of business. Market Basket isn't in Berlin, but I can tell you Market Basket didn't lose any business. So if no, you're around, they, sure, they sure didn't. 
No, <laughs> oh if, if you're if you're around food and certain of those kind of daily essentials, where you see the problem is the optional retail that you can go online and get, right? I mean, you can get food right. online too, but but I I, I think. I think to broad brush the word retail is, is a bit of a dangerous thing to do here. And, and I do mm -hmm. think Julie is right about the idea that the, uh, that the owners of these commercial operations have any kind of option about paying mitigation funds. Right. Um, There's and, a legal and, obligation there. Right, right. And, and so we have to be careful what the town writes down. This is mm -hmm. a really important point. Um, and, and you know, you could do fine. Your message, which I agree with, if you take that sentence out completely, that paragraph reads. Yeah. Well. Okay. I I don't think we have to get into this, especially without really having a breakdown and then the potential splashback on the contract, the uh, you know rights that. Is there any way in the budget that we could break out the residential versus commercial um, so people could see that um, we wouldn't have to speak to it, but they would be able to see the, you know, what's what? I mean, maybe that's not even. You could do something proportionally, I think. Um, I don't know that you could say exact numbers because on the recap sheet, it's measured by tax levy. It's measured by total tax levy, not by amount of taxes used. So maybe we could take a proportion, you know, a proportional share and say, okay, out of this amount, uh, X is represented by residential taxes and, and another portion is by commercial. So yeah, we could go. It, it, I just think that, that would be a good. Sure. Yeah, I was going to say, I do think that would be some good information to have for sure. And I think that would be a, a worthwhile thing to share with town okay. uh, voters, um, you know, especially when, when the next project comes along and, and, you know, we're voting on whether to approve something else that's, um, you know, very similar or whatever to what we have, it, it might be, uh, it might, it might make a difference in people's minds as to whether they want to continue down that path. If you did do a pie chart or a graph or something, um, you could get away from the whole statement of mitigation money because you could put the pie sure. chart in there with this is mitigation, this is residential, this is business, commercial, business. You could even break it down a little further, you know, if you you know wanted to, but that would take away the whole whole subject matter of of saying, you know, well, you know. We have retail that's going down and the mitigation money might not get paid but if they mm -hmm. take the pie chart they could you could see this is what we rely for mitigation this is what right. we get for and, yeah, and that that was whole, certainly more of my money time. piece out if you just do a percentage yeah oh we could easily do that because we already have the spreadsheet set up showing all the other revenue all, all the other revenue sources so we plug in taxes and we could what you'll see is this huge amount. So yeah, we could do that. In fact, I don't know. Did I actually do a graph on that? Well, never mind. I'll I'll play with it. Well, that way you don't have to talk money. You don't have to say anything. Right. You just basically, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, my my brain thinking. I'm sorry. I like things. Simple. Sometimes visuals are easier. Sure. And I think Mary's right about just taking out that one sentence because it was confusing to me too. Okay. So Stan, I'll shoot over uh, right now to you. I, I didn't I didn't track the changes, but I did the typo stuff and uh, and I have a line through on that sentence, which you can just delete. And I got rid of the table for you. So I'll shoot that over now. And um, okay. I think I tracked every what everybody had to say. Sorry, I missed the the piece on the minutes. I uh, until about a half an hour ago, I thought it was Tuesday, which is not like, <laughs> not like me. Somehow I lost a day. I don't know what happened, but fortunately, I re I recovered it. So here I am. Um, Did you have any problems with the minutes? No. Okay. Because we could revisit it if you wanted. Wait, to. no, I, I, uh, 
I'm I'm um, I'm good. Um, so and and so not to cut off discussion here because I'm not. I just wanted to bring this up while I'm thinking of it. So Margaret or and or June, what is our um, uh, logistically, what's our obligation tonight as far as so with final draft needs to be to you like tonight, right? I mean, or tonight. like mm -hmm. maybe tomorrow morning, yeah, tonight. So maybe early, um, early, early tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just, yeah, I'm just wondering if, you know, I look at what Mary sends back, I mean, rather than, you know, like I could sit here and read it while we're trying to have a meeting or, um, just kind of send it back out kind of thing, but I guess that- I just need um, to get it to Lori for layout tomorrow to get to the printers right. on Friday. Right. So maybe I should just, if I, let me look at what Mary just revised and sent back. Mary, can you share your screen? Well, I emailed it to everybody. I, I suppose I could do a share screen. Would you like me to do that? I'll open it up. I'm having issues going back and forth for my work email. I don't know why it keeps bumping me out. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, where is it? I think this is what I want. Yep. Look at that. Um, so, are people seeing it? Are yeah. we good? Yes. 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 And I can type if if anybody's got any other edits, just talk and I'll type. One other one I had was at the very end. If you get to the last uh, sentence, so. Scroll on the second the very, page? The, scroll to the very bottom. Right, okay. Some salaries, this this one here? Yes, the- uh, That's where you're at? Yes, um, I, some little bit different wording. I think um, to just refer to it as about the uh, market adjustments, yeah. um, to use that term um, instead of, you know, saying like certain deserving. positions deserving, deserving higher yeah. or that. But some, I mean, it's not as easy as I think one word adjust thing here, but uh, something that leaves it in the thing of that market adjustments to, to be made both high and you no know, high and low or right. higher and lower. Is that true? Yeah, I think market I felt, rate adjustment. I, sorry, what you you're saying market adjustment, but is it market rate adjustment? Is that the actual? Or yeah, it might be right. Yeah, yeah. better, more accurate. Well, I, I think my use of the word deserving, I fell victim to watching too much me TV and all the paid lawyer commercials. I think I've gotten got the deserving part on the brain and what we all deserve as far as when we get in an accident. So Stop you're at the it, last man. sentence, you're just going, it's like <laughs> almost done. <laughs> <laughs> I was on autopilot by then. Yeah, exactly. I was probably watching reruns of Andy Griffith and a, and a lawyer commercial came on. So is, um, is, is this a little bit emotional or we, do we like that word? You can get rid of that one. <laughs> the word dramatically? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Well, What's that? I said, are you willing to give up? The, are you willing to give up the drama here? Can we take that out or no? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am willing to give up the drama. Save the drama for your mama, you know. <laughs> I would love to see how are we doing scott is that did that capture what you wanted uh, let me see well i think it was also the deserving part i mean did right yeah to, thinking just kind of a dropping that somehow some mercury adjustments we certain need. positions oh, um, adjusting due to mark adjust well some adjusting market to market rates, rates or something certain positions um that, to just the word to a higher pay scale TO instead of deserving. Um, I also have a question well, too. Is scale correct, a higher pay scale? Because usually the scale term is used for where you are in your position. Right. The scale you get paid. And this is actually just a dollar amount that we're talking about. I, I just can't think of the actual. Well, it is, but it, 
in a certain position. Right. That's right. That, so what do you so call it's essentially that? this market rate. I'll hold you on. Now below market rate. Well, I think you have okay. to add back in salary. I don't know. Maybe that's a while while others other salaries salary market. No, so no some no, salary no, adjustments. No, no, not there. Down next line down now below market rate while others others what others other salaries well it's positions yeah, it's other positions right <clears throat> it's other positions or yeah. something other yeah, has to be qualified right. there I well think. but yeah it's it's this is where you're going to certain positions below others high so the others goes back to the positions well others right. are high positions you could say other positions instead of others i, I, mean, think, that's, I think it would sounds better if it says other positions we good yep yeah. yeah. And instead of say say hi, you should say above, above. Um, it's we're below market rate or above market rate. We're not well right. high or low. It should be while well, other positions are above market rate. Market rate or you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Medicine other positions are above size. market rate for a town yeah. our size. As um, you know as compared to towns our size. I don't know. If, if somebody reads this and gets up and asks, well, what are those positions that are high? What's our <laughs> answer? Uh, I to personnel. Personnel. <laughs> For a oh. personnel committee. <laughs> okay. uh, Come on. Yeah, I, I, we don't, we just, we <laughs> just, we just take the information they give us. We don't know. <laughs> Are we good with that sentence, that last sentence, or does it need, can we just read that and say, just decide here and now? Yeah. Well, I do think it should say above. I think it should be, just, instead of saying hi, it's, it should say other positions are above, are above market. Yeah. Are above market rate for towns our size. For a town our size. Okay. For a town our size. And may need renegotiation at next contract. Dur uh, for I think this reads well. <laughs> and I'm all set with the grammar on that sentence. Yeah. I, have, you know, I have a minor thing, and yeah. I could be yeah. totally wrong on this. It says now below market rate. Should we put a comma there? It just feels like a very long. Thing to be somewhere. yeah no that, that's, that's there. good yeah. doing yep. yep nice nice usually committees don't write well together but you're doing great thank you you okay. guys are awesome can we go back up now because i was reading slowly when you when scott was at the end thank you Uh, so Mary, so we said to say taking out well within the 2.5% levy limit. Uh, to say, say we're within it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. To be within it. Should we say, I mean, in view of our financial disruptions arising from the COVID-19, um, blah, 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 it's, it's not only now, but I think we need to say it's, you know, last year I kept saying I was worried about 21. Now I'm even more worried about 22. I know that sounds crazy, but that's where I'm coming from. And so, in reference to what, Janet, we're specifically, what well, are we talking about? Says, um, oh, let's see. In view of our financial disruptions arising from the COVID 19, the finance anticipated, our recommendations will continue to change as I guess it's okay. Sorry. Uh, Mary, can you just go back up a little bit to the, to the very top? Um, 
from the talent mission to enhance expand by taking timely and appropriate measures to contain expenses and maintain it. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else, folks? Oh, so data set. What did we do on our data set? Oh, so Microsoft has discontinued support for Windows 7 systems, and this change is necessary an upgrade of town computers and switch to Windows 10 systems. The treasurer is moving to the same side. Uh, so, um, has necessitated an upgrade of town computers and a. And this change has necessitated an upgrade. I would say in this, um, just getting support for Windows 7 systems and um, upgrade the upgrade. Uh, in... Do we have to get that specific? Can't we just say? We don't. I mean, we, we could. I mean, we don't even have to put anything in here archaic, for data systems. Archaic, our archaic data systems needed an upgrade. <laughs> Well, I mean, we've already our said that. I, I, our friends Flintstone, uh, Rock and Rock and you know Chisel needed uh, an upgrade. I think I yeah, think Janet, yeah. most most people using a computer will know about the Windows Seven, Windows Ten business. So yeah, they'll, they'll understand that we're we're uh, we're scrambling to keep up. I, I I just think we need to put language not saying that it's that it we're doing it, but that it is that the work is almost complete or that we're, that it's continued. I mean, cause this was, this yeah. was a holdover from last year. So it's really more like the work on this is continuing and almost done. Uh, and maybe even just taking out the whole line and just saying the switch to windows 10 from windows seven is nearly complete. Um, maybe even just that. Okay. Um, Okay. Forget about all this continued support for just. Um, and then you can just add that whatever. John is nearly completed. The, Dennis is getting for to match with June so that they can talk to each other. I yeah, mean, well, what, what the, the was know, it so Vedar or something or June. Vedar, right? Simply say a more modern software. Yeah. Something yeah. simple. Yeah, it's Vedar. Yeah. You can just say it's moving to the Vedar software that the accountant uses. Uh, oh. Is what continues? Yeah. I think Vedar is all caps. Okay. Is that correct, Jen? Um, to be honest with you, I really don't know. Oh. Oops. I'm going Vedar. from memory. But it needs a it needs a D in it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks impressive. It, it yeah. does. It looks like real <laughs> software when it, it, yeah, if you took out the A's, it would look like 21st century software. The, um, the, he's actually moving more to Vadar just because he's going out of the DOS system that he's using. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It's all good. Yeah. You want to say that uh, at their first sentence that the uh, continues or it sounds like you're say yeah. saying it'll actually be uh, completed in FY22. Is that, is that, Correct. Is that accurate, what I just typed? It's moving toward completion and yes, I think so. I think so. It will be completed. I think we, I think it, let's leave it, let's leave it as that because if we ever have any hiccups at all, right. we're on track to complete it in FY22. It's actually called Vadar yep. Systems, not Vadar Software, just if you want to be particular. I just Vadar looked it Systems? Up. Yeah, I just looked it up when June said all caps. That's the, um, that's the name of the company. Vadar. Vadar oh, so it would be a capital S? It's Vadar Systems Financial Software and Services. Vadar Systems no, is the... Vadar the, Systems. Yeah, you don't need all of that. No, but Vadar I'm just 
Vadar with a capital systems is the actual. Yep. Yep. Is moving to the Vadar system software there you go. uses. Yeah. Yeah, Vadar system software. Yep. Oh, up one line. Oh. Oh. That was a really there big jump. <laughs> It really Mary, that I the... just said systems that aligns with the accountant and be done with it. I'm getting grammatically. I'm so used to writing everything at fifth grade level to be translated into three languages. The less words, the better I've learned. Oh, wait, was there I'm any sorry. other was there other things that anyone else wanted to highlight besides um, correcting that correcting this was there anything else that others wanted to bring up no I thought you got the high points oh Mary there needs to be a little a space down in the first line of summary between FY 2021 and oh, as yeah mm -hmm. yeah Stan likes his numbers and letters together yeah, I sure do. Really dig it, man. Alpha numeric kind of guy. <laughs> I've been called worse. <laughs> I meant it kindly. <laughs> <laughs> I just trying to be self deprecating because that's what I do. Uh, just what I do. Okay. Um, I put a line through that sentence. Are we taking it out? All oh, right. So if we, so does the sentence, does the paragraph still make sense? One thing is clear by just kind of grow at the rates they have over the last five years or so. Well, unpalatable, we could and may need to exercise some of our ideas lovely capacity and sharply rates. Um, I, I would like, I still would like some reference to. Well, can we put. I still feel like I want a reference to our heavy reliance on retail in, some, you... in some format. Well, I think that's what we'll a... do is we get that pie chart yeah. of the, uh, in there. And then I think with the pie chart, you can get the nice, it'll, it'll give, making very short amount of words to uh, just get your point across. Yeah, so I, so maybe it's even as something as simple as as as, uh, as seen in the above pie chart. Our heavy reliance on retail for most. Um, um, no, I don't. I don't mean I don't like the rest of the words, but I, I I still want to point it out. Sorry. Well, it'll be in the pie chart. Would you I understand like to understand that? Know, but that's. Would, would you like to at least plug in what the percent of the overall tax base is or uh, what percent commercial represents of the overall tax base? Because I could probably calculate that if you'd like to plug that in. Yes and no, because part of me says that if it's 90-10, if it's 90% if it's residential and 10% um, commercial, then a pie chart is going to make it look like we're, we're not reliant hardly at all on retail. Okay. And so my, my point, my overall point on this is that I, I feel like the town needs to diversify its commercial ventures and it, it should not be so reliant on shopping centers. And however the, that point gets across, that's what I was trying to say. And whether, okay. whether it even belongs in here, you know, again, that, that, that's for the committee to decide as well. This is a, this is a group effort. But that, that's where I was going with that. And I, and, I, and I don't think a pie chart alone emphasizes that because if it's, if it's skewed so heavily on, the, on, the, on residential anyway, then people are just going to look at it and go, oh, well, it doesn't, it, who cares? It's only 10%. Uh, so Stan, yeah, yeah the, there's a little underlying thing here that, that the, the, the commercial development that the town has experienced and if we go back to Solomon Pond, you know, it's like over 20 years, 
has been the reason why we've expanded town services, particularly around public safety. And, and that, that came up in the development agreements and so on. And, and, and that's where the mitigation money comes in, right? Right. So the, the, the problem is um, we don't wanna say that we can't rely on mitigation money, but, yeah, right. but the, if the commercial development doesn't continue to carry the expanded public services, costs, then mm -hmm. that will fall on the taxpayers and or we'll have a reduction in staffing in public services, which we have an issue as a town doing because I think we're contractually obligated on, on some of that stuff. So I don't, I don't know how you boil that down for people to read in this report. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, and I, I brought up the, the question on the language because uh, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think retail is the right word. And I don't think talking about mitigation funds as an, as an optional uh, revenue source is good. So that's why I said, take the, you know, the, right. I, no, the, and I agree with that. I just, um, I certainly agree with the mitigation piece of it. Um, but I, I guess what I look at is an, if I see that a town, if a town has a, a business park and they have a shopping center and they have a factory, they're more uh, diversified in their commercial, in, the, in their commercial tax base. So that if, if you're not relying on shopping as your sole means of offsetting your residential tax base and i'm not saying we should be popping up factories everywhere but uh, you know maybe maybe it's an office building or two would be a better alternative than another shopping center and i guess oh, that's, I, that's yeah and, and, i, I couldn't know, do, yeah yep and do, yep. You, do you need to have x you know do we need to add police and fire you know to to support that or do we have a higher level of staffing because we have you know, a higher level of uh, call requirements on retail than you would on a business park, um, you know, something along those lines. And I guess that's where I'm coming from with our reliance on retail. And then that's why, that's why I do go back to that word is because well, I, I, I feel like. Yeah, you know, so you're saying you want greater diversity in the commercial Berlin commercial tax sector. Base. Tax yes. Base. And I can't yep. think of what the other word would be for that it's not diverse. On on the recap, the last recap sheet, we had 75% residential, 0.25% open space, 27.9% commercial, and 2.6% industrial. Commercial okay. tax levy represents about 30% of our overall tax levy. But right. to Stan's with, point, it doesn't break it out. With 90% of that being retail. Exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't get to your that's point. The point I'm getting, right. That's the point I'm getting to. And there's not, to do a pie chart showing that is only going to show commercial. So even that's not going right. to be able to break out. Right. Julie, did you have other, were you saying more on that? No, I was just trying to say, trying to figure out if there's a way to word it because the point you're bringing up is that the commercial, the commercial base is not diverse. Correct. But really I can't think of a wording that would be saying it's, you know, mo like you would say monoculture or mono. Mm -hmm. What we're really relying on our commercial business is the buying and selling of goods. That's Correct. our commercial base versus commercial base of, of like industry or factory. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Or even business or even just a, right. Or just an office park. I mean, a, right. you know, an office, an office building. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, one thing, I, I was just trying to look this up uh, in some of the more recent town reports, but I couldn't find, this is, this is old. Um, this is from uh, fiscal year 2013. And it showed, um, this one broke down our top 10 taxpayers, at least back then, which alone represented 21.8% of the entire levy. Um, and of course, number one of those was the Salmon Pond Mall, which by itself at that time represented 12.46% by itself. Um, the next closest was that way back then was Highland Commons at only 2.62. Of course, they were number two at 2.62. Yeah. And then it was Sears at 2.09. So that's why, like I said, it, that was under the treasurer's report, like I said, that's um, in the 2012 annual report. I'm trying to thumb through. Why, why is Sears broken out separately? These were for the top 10. Um, for the. Just uh, because the, the entire. Sears the entire is, store I mean, pays their, right, their own taxes. And then uh, Salmon Ponds is probably the related oh, to the okay. whole property, the value of the building, right? Oh, okay. I, Dennis, know, really broken out. I think Dennis Sears, Sears was that. the store. Sorry. Dennis can give you the top 10 because he needs it for his bond rating. So I know he does just, just recently got the list of those. Okay. I'm just looking back. Um, I was trying to find it in the last town report, but I couldn't. Uh, but Stan, we also have to consider that the, uh, the hotel and the uh, daycare center also is commercial property, which is 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 uh, new. And I don't know. I know it's agricultural, but what about like the? Well, I guess that's that's different. Never mind. Well, and maybe, you know, maybe we are sort of heading in the right direction and getting away from a little bit of the retail with some of this other stuff, which is good. But um, I, I don't think I don't think most people realize how much of our commercial base is retail. Um, and, I, and I think that's the point that I was really trying to highlight is that if we if we continue down the path of relying on the retail to be a to be a big chunk of our budget word that's probably not the wise path yeah yeah dennis definitely did a lot of uh, good work on this i'm looking at the uh, town 2018 town reports i mean he also did the comparisons to other towns so for example what the commercial industrial personal property as a percentage of total tax levy um we came in number one at 20 percent followed by Northborough and Hudson at 15%. Well, actually, sorry, Marlboro was number one at 26%, followed by us at 20%, and then Hudson and Northborough at 15%. Percent, what are we talking about, Scott? What this was the what? percentage of our levy from commercial, industrial, personal property, so non-residential. Okay. Um, I mean, this is so we were actually just behind Marlboro and then it was Northborough yeah, Northboro and Hudson, 15%. I mean, if somebody has the 2018 town reports, it's on page 102. Wow. There's actually that's, several that's graphs Hudson? that are really broken down very nicely. Hudson is 15% of it is commercial? Well, at least at that time. Commercial, industrial, and personal property all combined. So right. the, the, th the three categories, non-residential. Right. Uh, sorry, Scott, what, what year ago. are you looking at? Uh, this is the 2018 town report. Oh, 2018. I'm in the 2019. Hmm. Yeah. What's the caption on that section? Uh, it's on page 102. Do you see? Yeah, I, I've got the newer report. Oh, it's um, it's in the uh, what's? I, I find it hard to believe that Hudson is 85% residential and 15% This is the treasurer's report. Uh, treasurer's so report, this, thank this you. is pulled right off the recap. So, you know, so those percentages um, come right from the recap. So, but again, it's not getting to Stan's point about retail. Stan, 
Stan, I understand. I think I, I think we all understand what your you know right. what you so want to emphasize to here. How to how to put it? <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, can you put something more like um, our um, our tax base is um, you know uh, our commercial tax base is um, made up of uh, blah, 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 blah. And um, retail is the number one thing in, the, you know, the number one, number one, whatever in the, in that. And that way it, people will see that, you know, of all of the ones, I don't know, I, I'm trying to help you. I know what you're trying we, to get yeah, at. We can, but, but again, Janet, that could be as long, even if, if, so if there were 12 things and retail was number one, it could be 15 percent and and the others less than that i mean it, right no i get it i was just trying to help. yeah i know what you're saying and i agree with it but i just don't know how to put it in to make it clear well you could you know we could just say that uh due to um uh uncertainties in in uh commercial retail operations uh, well, no, I don't know. I don't, that isn't right. If we just leave the first part of that sentence, our heavy reliance on retail for most of our non-residential tax revenue puts the town in a... Um, puts the town in a precarious position. I mean, put uh, something, something along the lines of, I mean, we don't have to say that we don't think much, that stuff's going to be paid, but it's still an accurate statement to say that it's a heavy reliance on retail for most of our non-residential tax revenue. Um, and in uncertain times, I, we keep um, close watch over or something along that line. Um, you break it out something like let me try this um we have had a heavy reliance on retail for most of our of our non-residential tax revenue stop i will okay with that Mary, we're in suspense. <laughs> we're in suspenders, yeah. You're keeping us in suspense. <laughs> keeping us in suspenders. Yeah. I think uh, we've uh, addressed the um, with wording in future in pre previous letters from the finance committee. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I kept town many town reports when I was on the actual committee. I delivered. I mean, this my, isn't uh, a new idea, Scott. <laughs> I delivered most <laughs> of my finance committee paperwork back to the town at the transfer station, so I'm lacking. <laughs> the, uh, Who did what? You should have saved that. I probably should have, but I needed another room in my house. He'd have been in quarters if he had kept it. <laughs> So the recommended budget, everybody's good with that. I, I pulled off, there was a draft header on a couple of sheets and stuff, but is everybody good with the formatting of all the of all three of the uh, worksheets? I am, yes. Just trying to read Dennis's uh, summaries too. I, my guess is you're probably going to find some good wording he's done there in the past.
I'm not sure I like short funded though here. Um, uh, underfunded? Underfunded? Um, or delayed? All I can think of is we're in, going to be in a precarious, precarious situation if we continue. To, you know what I'm trying to say? That's that. Yeah, no, I, I like the economic trends piece. I, I like that phrase because I, I think that that's that it, that incorporates uh, the 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 potential decline in retail without um, you know like stating it or like you know highlighting it or bring it bringing it directly out. Um, um, there is something you can refer to from a positive standpoint, and this is something you try to highlight is our ability to our fund or budget uh, without using um, one-time funds, specifically free cash. Uh, many towns roll over uh, free cash and use that in their actual operating budget. And we have been able to avoid that, which also gives us uh, extra flexibility. Could we change this sentence? Yeah, well, that could go. Make the statement take out what you say about, oh, I'm saying like um, the sentence is starting to get long. Mm -hmm. I, put, so, I put a comma in, Julie. <laughs> yeah, you did. But I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, attention span. But what I was going to say was just take, keep the words, but make two sentences. So say, take off with and say about 30% of our revenue is derived from commercial retail so services. retail services, period. Period. You know, just we make that face statement. And then we may face revenue issues in the next few years. I, yeah, I see where you're. I see where you're going. Yeah. Uh, a verb would be good. And okay, how's the second sentence? Wait, does that need work? Yeah. We may face revenue issues in the next few years given current economic trends. I mean, to say revenue issue, we may face revenue issues. Um, say shortfalls. Revenue shortfall, I think is. Yeah. Okay. We may face uh, revenue shortfalls in the next few years. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'd say that's a very accurate statement. <coughs> um, Scott, your point about the um, the funding of the budget. I think that that if we want to include that, I think we could include that up top where uh, we talk about the financial. Uh, well, I guess the, this action has kept the town in a strong financial position. Um, did I say something more about our strong financial position? Or is that the only place that I talked about it? Yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I guess that's where we talk. Yeah. So without increase while increasing free cash, even with reduced revenues. Um, because we do have, I mean, we, we actually have increased free cash this year, given the cost control that we've implemented. Yeah, you know, Stan, I, 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 I agree with the fundamentals here, but I do, look at a, I do look at our free cash position and I realize that's tax that people have paid. Um, right. And yeah, I think it's always a misnomer to call it free cash. It, it's a it very really bad term. It's a very, very yeah. bad term. And, but, you know, <clears throat> um, we have to be careful, too, about crying wolf. Uh, right. Because we are going to be able to meet obligations. That To me, that's been clear. But your point about the trend that we're, we're growing in rates that we have in the last five years, I also agree with that. So how do you get people's attention without... Um, making them think that, that, that there's been a, right, well, uh, yeah, right. exactly, exactly. Um, so. Well, I mean, the, I mean, the one step that one sentence pretty much says that one thing is clear, budgets cannot continue to grow at the rates they have over the last five years. I mean, we, we, 
That's right. We can elaborate and we can put a bunch of flowery more words on it, but I mean, that pretty much says it. I mean, that. Um, yeah, and the, and the treasurer's report is going to tell the town that we, we're doing okay. I mean, sure. so right. Uh, I guess it's okay for us as FinCom to say, hey, but keep an eye on where we're headed. Yeah. You might want to. Yeah, I, I think you should just take out the strike out, the struck out line there, I think. Um, okay. Do you want to say next few years or do you want to say the coming years? Uh, but never mind. I, I'm sorry. I this is like fine. picking I up a Christmas tree. Few years. <laughs> no. Uh, um, I like the say, coming years. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. You got to put the that in. Well, that's a people, uh, reasonable people will differ on the grammar on that one, but that's okay. I put it in. <laughs> okay. Well, remember, um, it's, it's not like the other than the mitigation funds, which always could be in jeopardy or something, but it's not like it's um, going to reduce our revenue. It just shifts it to the residential. The levy is going to be the levy. So you're not actually going to see if the retail went away. You're not going to suddenly have less money coming in. It's just it's going to come directly from the residential. They'll make up for it. Well, you'll see less money coming in. I'm not going to, we, we don't have to allow it to. I mean, just well, you'd have, have to, right. You'd have to reduce have to the, it. Right. You'd have to reduce your uh, levy, but it's. Um, Right, it would just shift the burden though. It's not a case that your revenues would actually decrease. Uh, you would still have the revenues. It's just that um, that, well, that burden would all shift to residential. That, that, that assumes that you maintain town services at the current level, right? R right, yes. Right. So that's... so that's the other, that's the other, you know, there's always the revenue and there's always the expense side if you're, if you're, um, uh, Balancing. Yeah, I mean the mitigation funds go away. There's no, uh, there's no way we're keeping that same level of, same level of services and just throwing it all on the taxpayers. Yeah, it's not when you, have have this, you know, I assume. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, Sears was a big, Sears was high on the list of taxpayers, I believe, because the store is fully located in in Berlin. It's in the part right. of the mall that's in Berlin. Is that true or not? Yeah. Right. And so yes. Sears is closed. <clears throat> Sears is closing, and I don't know what I don't know if the town has specific obligations directly to Sears on the public safety side of things. I I wasn't like you, Scott. We're no, around. Well, we uh, ex exhausted those funds. There was a a ten well, it was set up to target funding two police officers over ten years. And that, uh, and that's what was moved into the budget. And then it was, in fact, I was even reading the uh, town report. Uh, as I joined the finance committee is when that uh, fund was uh, running out. And which is why when they dealt with um, Highland Commons, they wanted something that would go to perpetuity instead of where the Solomon Pond one was set up. Like said, it was a, a target amount that was targeted to fund two police officers for 10 years. So, um, you know, and that was just a one-time uh, payment. So our, I'm not sure exactly how they, if they funded it once every, you know, certain amount every year for 10 years, but um, it, it went over just a little over 10 years. But we don't have a obligation there. I mean, well, there's, they aren't paying us any extra money anymore. That oh, well, they, from they, the they still are supposed to be paying the $50,000 open space mitigation right, the payment. Open space, yes, but not yeah. the uh, the safety piece. So, so Scott, did they do, you said Sears made one payment for the 10-year period, yeah? Well, I would say, no, Sears, it was uh, specific to, I think, uh, I don't think it was specific to Sears. I think it was actually Simon. It was, I think, Simon. the negotiations was with the actual developer, right, Simon Properties. I wasn't th there during the days when the, the mall um, came in. But I was there during the, the days when we had to switch over two police officers over, I think it was over a two-year period from being funded 
from that fund to the operating budget. And I, I just read that stuff. Um, and let me see if I can uh, locate. Um, yes, this was, if you go to, how many of you has the 2006 annual report? <laughs> Finance committee <laughs> report, mall not, mitigation. Not money. with me, I have hold it. On. Hold yeah, on, okay. it's propping up the, the table on my, uh, the leg on my table, hold on. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I could so. give you the quick summary says, I mean. I we, believe that the money came in over a five year period from 2000 to 2000. Uh, four at $150,000 a year. And it was supposed to help us get to the point where we could fund it fully through taxes. Hmm. Right. It's interesting. So the statement we had at the, this time when we were transitioning over, um, you know, saying that it fund two full-time police officers for approximately 10 years in FY08, the money is only sufficient to fund one full-time police officer. Uh, which is a big reason for a 27.5% increase in the officer's salary line. Um, and it is anticipated there will be a similar requested increase in FY09 for the second full-time police officer, and that projected to a 50% increase in full-time police salaries between FY09 over FY07. Well, we, we sure did transition gradually, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a... We nailed that. <laughs> And we were doing that just as the uh, Great Recession was coming uh, towards but us. Didn't yeah, Margaret, just didn't spend Margaret, the money for five years and then deal with it. Didn't <laughs> Margaret try to, like, the money was supposed to be put in for those salaries, but if I remember, and maybe I'm misremembering my new favorite word, that we didn't specifically use the funds the way we were supposed to. Am I remembering that correctly? No, we did. I, we, we applied them to two of the lowest, uh, the base wages no, of the lowest. We are now, but in the past, we did. Oh, uh, oh. I think you Janet. brought that to our attention, and that's why we did it this time around. Yeah, misremembering is better than not remembering at all. I'll have to go back to last year to look. Yeah, I think I remember you saying that this year we're going to make sure we apply this money to yep. the officers because in the we past did. we had yep. not done that appropriately or not that we didn't misspend the money, but we didn't we didn't do it exactly like like you thought we should have. And that's why you suggest that we do it this way. I have to go. Yeah. It, it was being used, but it wasn't be being used directly the way that Margaret had put it through. Right, okay. right. It wasn't re what being reflected properly in the uh, the yeah, line items where it should have been was, showing up. I know she was very specific how we were going to be doing it this year, and it we all said, being... "Yep, that makes sense." So how are we how are we doing with this uh, report? Are we done? Should I stop stop with the screen sharing? Uh, well, yeah, I think we just need one space at, between my name and the. Um, oh, right the last up. line. I'm sorry. Like that? Is that it? Yeah. yeah. In the second yes. line under summary, Mary, it says oh, second I think line under what? On the second line under the word summary, under the summary section in the first paragraph, oh, yeah. okay. it says enforced yeah. a townwide cost containment. I think you can remove the A. Uh, okay. That's, yeah. Um, and then should we should we put for the, for the finance committee, so it's Stan Robolinski chair, and then say for the, for the finance committee? No, I think you're good just like this. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, um, I'm just looking up what we did, how, how it looked uh, last time, which was a copy of the previous time. So. All right, I'm going to go out and allow you know, you know what we had last time? You did it as the vice chair for Buzz. Right. 
So it said four I buzz just, hairs chair, right? right? So this okay. time you're just, it's just you for the finance committee, yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, if we, do we have to make a motion for this stand or is that something we don't have to worry about? No, I think we need a motion to accept it. So I'll make a motion to accept Stan's, um, is it, what's the title of it, Mary? Fi financial Annual Report. Uh, it's the Finance Committee finance Annual Report. Committee annual Report. Julie will get that right. I'll second it. Any further discussion? Uh, hearing none, roll call vote. Stan, I. Harry, I. Stan, and I. Julie, I. Scott, I. So if we take out the word draft then at this point, so Margaret, you just, we just pull that from the, from the drive to incorporate to the, to the annual report. That's right. Okay. So what am I, what am I doing? Am I emailing this to people or what do you want me to do? Oh, that, uh, Mark? I was just going to, yeah, because you weren't doing it live in the drive, right? No, I was just doing it on my PC. Sure. So I need to get it to somewhere else. Um, if you want, I you could email it, you could email it to everybody and I could upload it to the drive if you'd like, or Stan could upload it to the drive. And I mean, I'll, I, I'm happy to take the document that you've prepared and just send it off to Mary and yeah, well, and if Mary. you just email it, Mary, that would be good. To yeah, everybody, including Mary. okay. I'll just uh, in the I'll just call it final in this email yep. and make it easier to find in the future. And let's just find it on my desktop. And uh, I'm going to rename it as final. So do we have any other business tonight? Did we vote? We did we vote. Motion. Nope. Did we vote? Yeah. We voted. Okay. It was five to nothing. <laughs> it's a long day. It's <laughs> okay. You said Julie I. Yeah, okay. you did. <laughs> She thought she was voting on day. She thought she was voting on minutes. It's been a very long day. Right. <laughs> they all run together, you know. Margaret, are you all set on the line items? I think we're all set on the line items. I, yeah, the numbers are matching. The adjustments have been made. Everything's formatted. I've taken the draft headers off. I looks like FinCom's recommended budget. Looks like looks like a budget to you. Looks like a budget to All me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we don't have any other. We don't have any reserve fund requests at this point, right, Jim? Nope. Everybody's behaving. You know, Jim. The only thing that I'll need is the contingency line item um, uh, UMass account number. So I don't I don't have the actual account number in here. Not that it's a huge deal. It's still got a line item, but it doesn't have you know a budget line item here for town meeting. But it just doesn't have the account number, and that's it. So I uh, don't at this point. Then we don't have a meeting scheduled before annual town meeting. Um, we do need to review the last of the minutes though, but we can do that. We could set up a meeting the half an hour before. Traditionally what we've done is in lieu of nothing else, we could just do a meeting a half an hour before a town meeting and do vote on minutes. Are we all gonna go to the, um, to the uh, coffee talk? April 22nd. Coffee talk. Well, I don't know if, okay. we, if we have more than if we have more than the group. Do we have to put that as a meeting? How no, you can you can attend a meeting. If if Stan is going to be the spokesperson for you, just can't deliberate. So if you're just attending the meeting and you have Stan as finance committee spokesperson, you don't have to post. You're you're attending a you're attending the forum. I won't be able to attend that class that night. Okay. Uh, likewise, I can't attend that night. 
Thursday nights are always bad for me. So, so I'm sorry. Re make it to coffee remind, talks. remind me, Margaret, when is that again? April That's 22nd. April 22nd, Thursday, April 22nd. Starts at 6.30. Um, but just so you're aware, they're going to be starting with the Wetlands Bylaw. Conservation Commission's going first, and then it's going to be followed by the Planning Board's five zoning bylaw amendment articles, and then we'll move into other articles. And so how long are you envisioning for the whole meeting, do you think? <laughs> Board has to discuss that. <laughs> um, I would like it to be I feel like the last hours. one took forever. It'd be nice to have it less than three hours, but. They were having the, the oh, I don't know how do you say it. Conservation, is it this week? They're having their own meeting about Tomorrow the bylaw. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they should, that should, they should actually get a lot of the feedback that they're expecting tomorrow night. Yeah, and they might be having multiple forums of their own too, so yeah. Margaret, I just sent you the contingency line item number. Oh, great, thank you. Is there anything being mailed to anybody that to, about what these uh, the zoning things are, notifications that way, or is it gonna be just people having to go to the town website and know what's happening and word of mouth? So printed in the town warrant too, right? It's going to be printed in the town warrant, but I don't believe, I don't have the warrant in front of me, but I don't believe the zoning bylaw amendment articles have summaries attached to them. I could be wrong. Um, planning board is going to be having their public hearing on all of those bylaws next week, right. whatever night they're scheduled. The third, I think it's, um, uh, and again, they're going to be speaking at the, the coffee talk. Otherwise, um, that's, I mean, that's the, that's essentially the pre-town meeting of budget forum we had last year. It's going to be coffee right. time this year. And Janet, you said you were not able to make that meeting. Mayor, you're not able to make that the coffee right. talk. Right. Right. I can't make the coffee talk. So that was that Julie? I'm sorry. Yeah. And Julie, okay. Scott, or are you able to attend or not? Do you know? Uh, I don't have any commitment at that time. I can definitely attend. Don't know if I want to be there for the, yeah. Okay. till 11 o'clock, but. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Although I don't have to work on that Friday in general. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. I have two meetings that night. So. I can go and come back. That looks like what I'm going to be doing. Okay. At some point, um, do you I'd want say to... it's really probably more FYI than than required yeah. to be. You know, I think it's oh, really wait, more uh, yeah. to be there it's, to answer it's, questions. Yeah. I mean, we're... it's going to be an FYI. Um, or are you expecting a presentation some... from me, Margaret? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Are you expecting a presentation from me? I don't know that you. You might want to have your report handy. That might help um, <laughs> your report in the recommended budget. I don't think you need a formal presentation. Okay. Um, I the board is um, is reviewing the motion, so I don't know if at some point the finance committee wants to review final motions before. I, I'm sure you do, and I'm happy to circulate them to you. But if you want to um, meet to review those, I could I could set up your meeting and. You can go through the motions. Go through the motions. Uh, yeah. Really when are they? When? When are they meeting? Oh, the select board's reviewing them now, so it's going to be a few yep. meetings of theirs before they're finished. So maybe we should set up a meeting then. The should we do Wednesday? The what's the last Wednesday in April? Twenty eighth. Maybe we should set up a meeting for the 28th then at 7.30. I've already booked you on Zoom, so there you go. <laughs> I'll expect my email to be flooded again, okay. You're booked. <laughs> and that will be, your agenda will be to review motions and um, minutes, right? Minutes, motions. Yeah, in theory, we could do the minutes then if um, Julie's able to have them by then. Which, okay. That's an no incentive pressure. to have them done before May. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Okay. 
I am not losing any sleep over not voting on minutes. I always thought that was a rather archaic little function, but it is what it is. I will say this, your minutes are much more detailed than the minutes we ever kept. <laughs> Stan's minutes are? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I really I keep some fine minutes, don't I? All right. So motion to adjourn, Stan? Janet, <laughs> you're just reading my mind. <laughs>